I want you to invest in number one, knowing yourself. Number two, invest in improving yourself. And number three, building a personal finance system. Invest in knowing yourself. So what do I mean by knowing yourself? So one good way to know yourself is through your expenses. So tip number one is actually to study your monthly expenses. So paano to? Um, kailangan ba tong gawin forever? Hindi naman. Actually, you can just write down your expenses for one month. Let's start na lang one month. Um, I did this before and then I ended up doing three months. Actually, it's better na three months kasi mas accurate siya. And then um, I looked up all the expenses that I recorded. Then I determined yung mga parang madalas kong pinagkakagastosan na parang akala ko hindi siya nagmamatter. Tapos, um, pag pinagsama-sama mo, ang laki pala ng effect. Ang nagawa niyo siya ng maayos, may lalabas na ganitong pie chart. So, one way to check if you are um, spending wisely, um, it, this might not apply to you right now kasi students pa kayo, pero when you start working, um, may rule na 50-30-20. So, yung 50% sa essentials, and 20% savings, 30% yung mga parang non-essentials na. Okay? So, bakit not, pero bakit mo nga ba pinapakuha sa inyo yung monthly expenses nyo? Kasi, I want you to build an emergency fund. Okay? So, an emergency fund is something that's supposed to catch you kapag may nangyari na maapektuhan ang iyong income. For example, um, sa ating mga 20s pa, char, um, kapag fresh grad kayo, uh, or actually kahit na hindi naman na kayo fresh grad, eh, mangyayari to, there, there could be a chance that you, you might lose your job. Right? Um, and uh, kapag nawalang kayo ng trabaho, it actually takes time to find another job. So usually it's three months. So you need like a, an emergency fund to catch you there. Marami pang events na makakatulong yung emergency fund. For example, um, na aksidente, na kunwit. Um, so yeah, this is a basic rule. So paano natin malalaman kung magkano yung emergency fund na dapat meron tayo? So yung sabi ko kanina, if you study your monthly expenses, you will find out your average monthly expenses minus your non-essentials. So obviously you're gonna live on the essentials um, only dun sa mga months na hindi ka kumikita ng pera. And then times the target number of months. Usually, this is this starts at three. You want to have um, at least three months, pero as you progress, you want to build a longer runway. For example, maraming expenses yung... Mas marami ka ng expenses, di ba? So, you want to prepare for that too. So, once na-build mo na yung savings, it's time for you to start identifying your short-term and long-term goals. And these things become a less distant reality once you get older. But right now, I understand if, you do, if you're not thinking about them, but you, you're gonna have to start thinking about them soon, lalo na after you graduate. Okay, so, bakit? Kasi, you, bakit ko ito pinapakit sa inyo? Explain ko muna yung graph. So, dito sa x-axis, charm x-axis. Oh, so, x-axis, that's your age. So, 20, 30, 40 years old, 50 years old. So, hindi naman necessary lahat ng events na to um, mangyayari. Diba? For example, you might not choose to have kids. Ganon. But usually, um, people have children between their 20s and 30s. Yun yung parang first child nila, diba? Tapos sa y-axis naman, yun yung financial impact ng event na to. So isang example, birth of child. Diba? When, you know, you, um, when you have a child, forever mo na siyang kailangan paggastosan, di ba? Obvious naman yun. Um, another one is serious illness. That's big, right? And this becomes more common as you get older. Thing is, you have to prepare for all of these, these are applicable to all of us, diba? For example, we will experience, but we will all want to purchase our homes, diba? Um, I think 
many of us will want to be married. Tapos, obviously, most of us will have aging parents and we will have to take care of them. Maybe some of you don't have to. So, yun, um, you want to list them all down. And why am I showing you this again? Um, kasi, um, I want you to um, to know whether or not to save, whether to save or to invest. Okay, na nabuo yung emergency fund mo. Um, after that, you want to start investing na because I've shown you madaming magaganap sa life mo. And you cannot save your way to afford all these things actually. So, lagi mo tandaan, lagi nyo tandaan to, you cannot save your way to prosperity and financial security. You have to invest. So, bakit? Um, when you save money, money actually loses value because of this concept called inflation. Narinig niyo siguro yung inflation sa news, pero ang inflation ay ang pagtaas ng bilihin. I mean, in, in simple terms. For example, nilagay mo sa bank ang pera mo. Diba? Ang ibibigay sa ina bank, ng banko, pag nilagay mo yung about 10,000 pesos, ay less than 1%. Pero ang inflation sa Pilipinas ay at least 4%. So, kung may 10,000 ka sa banko, next year, or after one year, 9,700 na lang ang tunay na value niya. Tapos, kung ilagay mo yun matagal, lalong mawaw, bababa na bababa yung value ng 10,000 pesos na yun. So, you can't just save money for all of these things. Kailangan mong mag-invest na magbibigay sa iyo ng return na mas mataas sa inflation. Yun yung ano doon ah, Um, rule, ang return mo ay dapat mabit ang inflation at the very least. So, anyway, what should you only save for? Sabi ko na yung emergency fund, di ba? Um, yung mga pwede mong pag-save on, yung mga quite, mga relatively big purchases within the year or maximum in the next three years. For example, plan mong bumili ng laptop next year. Ganoon. You know? Or gusto mong magbakasyon sa next birthday mo gaya nitong vacation. Some who um, want to get married diba, in, in their 20s, they save for that too. Pero other things um, you need to invest for. Uh, what should you not save for? What should you invest in? Yung mga malayo pang expenses gaya ng retirement. Tapos kung gusto mo ng vacation house in the future. Kahit anong save mo kasi ng salary in your 20s, may hirapan ka for those. Okay, so what you have to do instead is invest your money in something that will give you those returns when you want to have them in the future. Kapag investment, remember, laging long term yan, um, three years from now or longer. If sooner, saving.